Office 2010 using functions to solve problems 2. Okay, so we're going to have a look at another real life problem that you might face and the first thing we're going to look at is ID numbers. Now it's very important that you know that an ID number in South Africa consists of 13 characters or 13 numbers. Uh, you'll be expected to know that in your final examination. Okay, so we want to check the validity of these numbers that have been inserted here. So we have to count the number of characters. Okay, so to do that we're going to use equals len, open bracket, and then select the ID number and press enter. And we can leave it like this, but it would be nice if the um, computer actually says yes it's valid or no it isn't, instead of just 13 or 12. So to, to do this, we're going to combine our len uh, text function with an if statement. Okay, so we can say equals if, and then we can say if the length of cell C2 is 13, then say yes, it's valid, and if it's not, say no, it's not valid. Okay, or you could use valid and invalid if you would like. Okay, so let's just go use the autofill. And then it's quite easy to spot the one where we have a problem. And people can go follow up and find out what the correct ID number is here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to find out the approximate age in years of these people. Okay, so just like when we did the calculations with dates, you have to take your last date or the last year, which is 2014, or the most recent year, and you deduct that from your date of birth. So it's always end minus start. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you a function here called here, okay, and that will return the year of a date, okay, as a number. And we want the year of today's date. So we're going to use our today function. Um, open close brackets. So what this will do, let's just finish there, let's close the bracket and press enter. It will give us today's year in a numerical format. Okay, so it will give us 2014. So now we've got that section. But then we want to take that and we want to deduct the year that they were born in. Okay, and in this case, you should know that the first two characters of an ID number um, depicts the year that you were born in, so in this case 1996. The second set here, 07, is the month that this person was born in. And the third section over here will be the day that they were born um, on. Okay. The other numbers also mean something, but for your exam purposes, they usually focus on the first uh, six digits. Okay, so now we want to deduct 1996, but the problem is we only have 96 but no 19. Okay, so now we're going to have to say, right, I want the computer to take 19 and I want to combine that with the first two characters of the um, ID number. So I want to take the 19 and join it with left C2, comma 2. So the first two characters of um, the ID number. Okay. Right, if you've made a mistake with brackets, just say yes, it will fix it for you. And this first person's age will then come back as 18. Okay, so can you see how um, it is possible to use a variety of functions to build um, a functional formula that you will need to solve certain problems? Okay, and if you copy that down, it should also give you the ages of the rest of the people.